Hi, my name is Amber Patel and I will be talking about the mountain of landfill in Purana, Ahmedabad. The purpose and objective is to understand the area and emergence of this landfill, learn about the different volatile organic compounds released from the dump site, its effect on nearby residents, and learn about the different dump site closure methods and cleanup processes. We will go through what the landfill is, the residents nearby, what the landfill contains, its environmental implications, and what is being done with respect to the timeline of site closure. This landfill is located on the east bank of Sabarmati River in the city of Antabad, which is surrounded by a main road and a highway as shown in the figure. It is a major dump site in the state of Gujarat and has a mountain of garbage that is up to 80 feet high. Among the many dump sites in India, this site has also reached its holding capacity due to lack of space. This figure shows the amount of acres and meters per ton second the landfill has increased over the years. From year 2000 to 2011, you see the increase in acres of land area. But in 2017, we see that waste was just piling up in height because they have run out of land. This has impacted the people living nearby and in the slums. The residents living in the slums sort through this mountain of garbage to find waste and scrap to sell for money. This led to an incident in which a 12-year-old girl who was sorting through the pile of garbage collapsed and was accidentally buried, leading to her demise. The scrap and waste that they sort through is mostly waste from residential homes and businesses in the state of Gujarat. As shown in the chart, 72% is organic batter, followed by 13% earth material, plastic 7%, paper 6%, metal and glass containing 2%. The decomposition and burning of these wastes leads to the release of methane and carbon dioxide gas. These gases cause the release of toxic fumes, which leads to frequent fires and lung and cardiac disease for the residents nearby. The landfill also releases non-methane volatile organic compounds. The line graph shows all of the non-methane volatile organic compounds released on average. The three highest concentrations of non-methane volatile organic compounds are ethane, toluene, and butene, which leads to an unpleasant odor and increase in the toxicity of air quality. In light of this, the Amdala Municipal Corporation passed a law that people who are living within 500 meters in this landfill cannot file for any health composition. Due to the environmental impacts of this landfill, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, launched a Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, a Clean India initiative. This initiative is being endorsed by celebrities, influencers, and businessmen, which has influenced waste management at local community levels and attracted funding and resources for landfill cleanup processes. This also allowed them to learn about the prerequisites and technology needed to carry forward this mission. This figure shows a sample scenario of segregation process. Scenario 1 has zero segregation, scenario 2 has part segregation, and scenario 3 with full segregation in the year of 2035. They are aiming for scenario 3 of full segregation, with segregation and sorting successfully occurring in all wards and segregated wastes compost, composted and recycled. For the closure of this site, they have narrowed down to two types of technologies, biomining and capping. With respect to cost, time, land requirement, and environmental impact, India has leaned towards biomining as, as it is cheaper and can be used in public and private, and has a minimal impact on the surroundings as compared to the capping.
Keeping the biomining technology in mind, the suggested timeline of closure is expected to be in 2026, with 50% of segregation sorting already happening. Net waste of zero lakhs per meter tons going to the dump site per year, and the total cost being 355 crores. To summarize, the Purana landfill is one of the largest dump sites in all of India. The mountain of garbage led to a lot of environmental and health effects. After the release of toxic compounds and frequent fires, the government intervened with the Clean India Initiative. In 2020, the process of clearing the site has been initiated. With the pandemic affecting the process, the landfill is expected to be completely cleared in the next 30 years.